Hello, dear students. Once again, a very pleasant good morning to you all. Hope all of you are keeping fine, and I believe that all of you have done your homework. If you have not done, please do it as fast as possible. Dear students, we continue with our class English second short story number three. A horse and two gods, part four. As it is a long story, we need to complete. We can complete this story by part by part. Probably by tomorrow, I will be able to complete by part five. I will be able to complete this story. So let me recap like uh, the previous class. The foreigner came. The American came, and Muni thought. definitely he is a police officer or a soldier how he thought that he thought by seeing the khaki dress of this man all right so he wanted to run away but unfortunately he could not then he greeted the foreigner greeted our uh, muni and muni just said yes no because that was the only english words that he knew then the foreigner again asked the various things muni responded various other things like that way then even muni mentioned about the murder that took place at the border village of kridam and kuppam and when the visiting card was offered to our muni he told definitely it is a arrest warrant it is an arrest warrant thus he needs to run away from the airport of course his limbs did not permit him to run away from the situation then finally our foreigner told that he is from new york and once he got so much trouble in the empire state building and how he was caught up in that building almost for four hours then as soon as he reached home he asked his wife and arranged this trip and right now they are here in india and of course he told his wife roop she stays in srinagar whereas he is the one who was wandering in the uh, country and later he will be joining that is the area where we have stopped so please be ready and pay attention to the class on page number 58 next paragraph onwards he had always wanted to yes so i'm sorry not that one yes page number 60 yeah, on page number 60 uh, the second paragraph onwards muni looked reflective at the end of this long oration and said rather feebly yes no <laughs> without getting understanding our muni told yes no reflective thinking muni looked if reflective at the end of this long oration oration means what speech speech about the narration of how our foreigner had landed up in india rather feebly lightly yes no as a concession to the others language and went on in tamil muni went on speaking in tamil when i was this high this high he pointed or was one foot he indicated a foot high i had heard my uncle say i had heard my uncle say when he was going or talking began his speech but he was interrupted by the foreigner no one can tell what he was planning to say no one can tell what when he was planning to say as the other interrupted interfered in between the conversation interrupted him at this stage to ask boy what is the secret of your teeth how old are you what is the secret of your teeth how old are you earlier you had learned that how many teeth when he had two in the lower jaw and two in the upper jaw and <laughs> looking at this thing he asked uh, the foreigner asked muni how old are you yes muni forgot what he had started to say and remark commander remark means commander sometimes we too lose our cattle see 
now question is how old are you what is your age now as an answer muni is saying kabhi kabhi hamara gai bail bhi chori kiya jata hai chori ho jata hai question and answer yes sometimes we to lose our gadget jackals and cheetahs may sometimes carry them off but sometimes it is just theft from over the nest village sometimes people come from the nest village and then we will know who has done it how priests at the temple can see in the cave for flame transparent flame the face of the thief and when he is caught he gestured with his hands a perfect mincing of meat he gestured gesture means to show like a butcher cuts the meat pieces into pieces like chik 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 chik. yes with his hands a perfect mincing of meat mincing of meat means cutting slicing of meat so if the criminal is caught the thief is caught he would be beaten or cut beaten like this the american watched his hands intently and said american watch the action the gesture of our muni and said i know what do you mean ah uh, hame pata hai tum kya bol rahe ho hame pata hai chop something you want cut something chop down means cut something maybe i am holding you up and you want to chop wood maybe i am stopping you and you want to cut the wood chop the wood where is your axe kuladi kahan hai Where is your axe? Hand it to me and show me what to chop. Give me, give me your axe and show me which plant, which tree you want cut down. I will cut down it for you. Why Muni was showed this one? It was the way of punishing the criminal or the thief. But what foreigner understood? Foreigner understood that. when he wanted to cut down some trees so he asked okay give me your axe and show me which tree you want to cut hand it to me and show me what to chop i do enjoy it you know just a hobby we get a lot of driftwood driftwood means the floating wood which flow in the river especially during the flood and so on Yes, driftwood along the bike water near my house. And on Sundays, I do nothing but chop wood for the fireplace. And on Sundays, that is the only work I do: chop the fire food, firewood for my fireplace. I really, I really feel different when I watch the fire in the fireplace. And when I look at the fire in the fireplace, I feel something great. Although it may take all the sections of the Sunday, although it takes the whole time of Sunday, New York Times we get a fire start. Sometimes to get the new in New York Times get the fire start. Paper people, New York, uh, New York Times, that's a paper, newspaper, weekly paper that is given, and he smiled at this reference. Muni felt totally confused, but decided to decide that the best thing would be to make an attempt to get away from this place. Now Muni felt totally confused, so he thought of running away from there. Yes, he tried to yell out, saying, "Must go home." Tried to slowly go from there. अभी घर जाने का टाइम आ गया है. Tried to yell away, escape. He tried to yell out, saying, "Must go home!" and he turned to go. The other seized his shoulder. Can they be pakkan liya? When he was about to escape from there, then he was stopped by the foreigner, shoulder and said desperately, "Is there no one? Absolutely no one here to translate for me? Is there no one? Can I go? I be nahi hai." कुछ ट्रांसलेट करने के लिए इंग्लिश ट्रांसलेट करने के लिए इज देर नो वन एब्सोल्यूटली नो वन हियर टू ट्रांसलेट फॉर मी ही लुक डाउन द रोड 
which was deserted in this hot afternoon empty the stranger almost pioneered munis back to the statue and asked isn't this statue yours isn't not this statue yours isn't this statue yours kya ye statue aapka nahi hai why don't you sell it to me which statue statue of the horse for the finally asked is that statue yours why don't you sell it to me the old man now understood the reference to the horse thought for a second answer in his own language so muni now understood the talk the dialogue of american is about the statue about who statue about the horse statue yes and he started speaking in tamil language i was an urchin urchin means a mischievous boy a naughty boy urchin this high when i heard my grandfather explain this horse and barrier when i was a small boy like this that time i used to hear about my father saying my grandfather explaining dada ji great father explaining about this particular horse and the barrier and my grandfather himself was this guy and mere dada ji jab itne the when he heard his grandfather whose grandfather dada ji great dada ji great great dada ji greatest dada ji muni is making all the reference to tell about tell about the statue of horse and the warrior the other man interrupted him again foreigner stopped him i don't want to see to have stop here for nothing i don't want how i don't want to see to have stop here for nothing are you have stop kiya to kuch leke jana hi nahi yes i will offer you a good price for this i will give a good money good price for this he is indicating the horse see ghode par ishara karte hue our foreigner ne kaha मैं इसके लिए अच्छा प्राइस दे दूंगा अच्छा पैसा दे दूंगा ये स्टैचू हमको दे दीजिए आई विल ऑफर यू अ गुड प्राइस फॉर दिस ही सेड इंडिकेटिंग द होल ही हैड कंक्लूडेड विदाउट द लीस्ट डाउट दैट मुनी वांट दिस मड होल्स बिकॉज़ द फॉरेनर थॉट डेफिनेटली 100% परसेंट 100% मुनी इज द ओनर ऑफ दिस मड होल्स स्टैचू परहास ही Just by the way he sat on its pedestal, the way Muni was sitting on the pedestal of his horse, he thought definitely he is the owner of Muni is the owner of this particular statue. Like other souvenir sellers, souvenir, an item of item that is kept for as a memory, souvenir. Yes, an item of value. this yes memorabilia an item of thing sometimes we get a uh, gift from our grandparents grandmother and so on and it's a precious gift that is a souvenir for us isn't it yes that souvenir celebrates in this country presiding over their wars items wars means items muni followed the man's eyes and the pointing figures and dimly understood the subject matter and feeling relieved that the theme of the mutilated body had been abandoned at least at last uh, at least for the time being said again enthusiastically muni now he was relieved and he understood the talk is not about the murder the mutilated body something else so he felt some energy some happiness and started speaking enthusiastically i was this guy again he said i was this guy when my grandfather told me about this horse and the barrier and my grandfather was this guy when he himself again or me is talking about uh, his grandfather grandmother all those things great grandfather the tamil that muni spoke was stimulating even as pure sound stimulating producing an effect 
purely when he was speaking very purely the tamil language and the foreigner listened with fascination with great interest the foreigner listened the dialogue i wish i had my tape recorder here and he thought for not to oh, i wish i had my tape recorder here what purpose to record yes he said assuming the pleasant uh, pleasantest expression by the pleasantest happiest expression he wish oh if i had my if i had my what tape recorder your language sounds wonderful for your tour i get a kick out of every word you utter here i get some kind of new energy by the every word that you utter utter means speak here he indicated his ears but you don't have to waste your breath in sales talk i'll to help baat baat karke samay barbaad na karo see i will give you good money but you don't have to waste your breath in sales talk salesman ki tarah baatein mat karo no need of talking like bargaining i will give you good money for what for selling this statue i appreciate the article item i appreciate the article you don't have to explain its points you don't have to explain about its points i will give you good money for this one i never went to school now again when he say something else see let us see what when he say i never went to a school in those days only brahmins brahmin went to schools i never went to schools and in my time only brahmin high class people went to schools but we had to go out and work in the fields morning till night but as far as we were concerned we had to go to the field from morning till end from sowing to harvest time buai ka time se katai ka time tak yes from sowing time sowing scattering the seeds and the harvesting time reaping time and when pongal came pongal is the state festival of our tamil nadu yes came and we had cut the harvest my father allowed me to go out and play with others at the time water time village pond only after the harvesting time my father allowed me to go with go and play with other kids and so i didn't know the parangi language parangi language means english language so as i did not go to school i did not know anything about parangi language yes for english language in tamil it is called parangi yes you speak even little fellows in your country probably speak parangi language little fellows small fellows in your country speak parangi language english language yes in india if the child is born in uh, uttar pradesh or this part of the country what language they speak from the very small birth their childhood they speak bhojpuri if a child is born in karnataka or from kerala they speak their language from their childhood onwards isn't it yes same way no wonder so many talks even in your country small fellows may be speaking parangi language but here only learned men and officers know it but here in our country only learned men learned means educated men and and whom and educated people as well as learned people yes they know the foreigner laughed heartily very openly he laughed took out another cigarette and offered it to muni he laughed very heartily took a cigarette and offered to muni who now smoked with ease early first time when muni smoked he was feeling really and coughing isn't it now that problem is almost solved very easily muni started smoking deciding to say on if the fellow was going to be so good as to keep or keep up his cigarette supply who did thought he was just waiter maybe the foreigner will be continuing his supply of supply of cigarette the american now stood up on the pedestal 
in the attitude of the demonstrative lecture and set. Demonstrative, showing and demonstrating display lecture and set. Running his finger along some of the curved decorations around the horse's neck, speaking slowly and uttering his words syllable by syllable. Again, touching, feeling, observing. The foreigner again started talking slowly. I could give a sales talk for this better than anyone else. I could give a sales talk. The, the, see, when you go to a shop and when you ask for a particular thing, they will say all the good things about that, all the wonderful things about that particular item. That is called sales talk. And when you come home after one or two days, Gaya, Barabad Ho Gaya, isn't it? So all those sales talk. The sales talk means when you reach a shop, when the customer speaks about a particular product or item, that is called. See, our foreigner is telling that. I can give a better talk about this one. Yes. This is a marvelous combination of yellow and indigo. The painting. This is a marvelous combination yellow and indigo. Those colors. Those faded now. Though it is faded. Yellow and indigo color. How do you people of this country achieve these flaming colors? How you people, how the people of your country, this country, get such a combination of colors? Again, that was a surprise for our, for whom? Surprise for our, our Muni and foreigner. Muni now assured that the subject was still the horse and not the dead body self. Muni again taught. Muni again taught. The subject of the dialogue is not about the mutilated dead body that was found between Kridam and Kupam, but the talk is about force. Now Muni again started talking about this. One. This is our guardian, this statue. This horse is our guardian. Guardian means one who protects. It means death to our adversaries, Dushman. Yehi statue ka matlab hai, Dushman ka mouth. Yes. At the end of Kali Yuga, at the end of Kali Yuga, this world and all other worlds will be destroyed. At the end of Kali Yuga, this world and the whole world will be destroyed and the Redeemer, Savior, Redeemer means Savior, will come in the shape of a horse called Kalki. At the end of Kali Yuga, the Savior, Redeemer will come in the form of a horse and that horse name is going to be Kalki. This horse will come to life and gallop and tumble down all bad men. This horse, this horse will come, it will become life, lifeful, yes, it will get life and gallop, gallop is swallowed. And Kujana, trouble, Kujana, Kudera. See, it will destroy all the bad people. At the end of Kali Yuga, this horse is going to get life and this horse is going to gallop, swallow, eat all the bad people and trouble down all the bad people of this world. While he was brooding, meditating, brooding, and thinking on this pleasant vision, as Muni was talking, he just imagined the horse Kalki coming into life. The foreigner utilized the post to say, I assure you that this will have the best home in the USA. I promise you, this horse will have the best home in USA. I will push away the bookcase. I will push away my bookcase. You know I love books and I am a member of five book clubs, five libraries. I am a member of five libraries. I love books. And the choice and bonus volumes mount up to a pile really in our living room. The uh, that is choice, the selection of the books, selected books and the bonus books, they piled up. They kept one above other, like piled up. Uh, really our living room as high as this horse itself. But they will have to go. Those books have to go. 
Ruth may disapprove. Ruth, wife, who is Ruth? Wife of the foreigner. She may not agree, but I will convince, I will make her to understand. Muni continued this, his description of the end of the world. Again, in between, Muni again continued his description about the end of the world. Our Pandit discourse, discourse means satsang, long provision, dialogue, talk, religious talk, or Pandit discourse at the temple once how the oceans are going to cross over the earth in a huge wave and swallow us. This horse will grow bigger than the biggest wave and carry on its back only the good people and kick into the floods the evil ones plenty of them about. He said reflectively, Muni told, Hamare mantra mein, Pandit ji ne kaha hai, dunia ke andu mein, Pura ocean, baad se, ye pura dunia barbaad ho jayegi and our horse, this horse will become taller than the tallest wave and carry on its by all the good people. Sabhi achche logo ko unka peed par, but bita ke, bachaye ke, aur sabhi bure logo ko ehi phani mein dhaket ke, sabko maat dalenge. Only good people and they kick into the floods the evil ones plenty of them about. He said reflectively, meditatively. Do you know when it is going to happen? Kya aapko pada hai dunya ka andh kap hoga? Muni is asking to the foreigner. Kya aapko pada hai dunya ka andh kap hoga? Our ye poor's kap life mein ha jayenge. He said. The foreigner now understood by the tone of the other that the question was being asked and said, I am not a millionaire, Karotpadi, but a modest businessman. My trade is coffee. Now, when Muni posed that question asking, Do you know when it is going to happen, when the world is coming to an end? Foreigner understood. Some question is asked. So, foreigner told, See, I am not a millionaire. Lakhpati, no. But a modest, average businessman and my business is coffee. My trade is coffee. A business is coffee. Coffee selling, of course, coffee. Amidst all these wilderness of obscure sound, Muni caught the word coffee and said, Now, Muni heard the word coffee. Remember, of all these strange noises, strange sounds, Muni could understand or pick out the word coffee. If you want to drink kapi, drive further up in the next town, they have Friday market. Agar aapko coffee peena hai, to next shagar tak drive karke chale jaiye, wahaan par Friday coffee shop hai, wahaan se coffee le li chiye. Why Muni said this word? Because Muni thought the foreigner is asking for a drink of coffee, chai coffee. Okay, but that was not the question. What was the thing told by the foreigner? He told, I am a coffee dealer. I am a coffee dealer. So, if you want to drink coffee, drive further up. Aage jaiye, in the next town, they have Friday market and there they open coffee hotels, coffee bottles. So, I learned from the passage by. I have heard from the people in the other town, coffee shops are there. Please go and drink from there. The foreigner said, I repeat, I am not a millionaire. Again, he said, Me lak padi, karot padi nahi hu. Awards is a modest business. Awards is just an average business. After all, we can't afford to buy more than 60 minutes of TV. Buying 60 minutes of TV means we can't get an advertisement more than one minute. That means these days people advertise about their products in the television, isn't it? And seeing at that advertisement, we are tempted to buy those things. So our foreigner is saying that, awareness is a modest business and we can't 
by more than one minute in our TV in the TV for advertising. Time in a month, yes, now months, minutes of TV. TV time in a month, which works out in two minutes a day. That's all. Although in the course of time we will maybe sponsor a one-hour show regularly if our sales graph continues to go. If our business improves, definitely we will be buying more time from the TV to advertise about our business and so on. For but for the time being, it is just 60 minutes. That means ordinary business. Then the visitor feeling that he had spent too much time already said, Tell me, will you accept a hundred rupees or not for the course? Then finally the visitor for the thought, it is too late. It is too late. So he asked, will you accept hundred rupees for this statue? I would love to take the whiskered soldier also. Whiskered, the soldier. Muchwala Sipahi. Jo horse statue kinare the yes whiskered soldier also but no space for him this year but abhi unke liye time nahi hai I will have to cancel my air ticket and take a boat home I suppose he told jahaj ka hawaii jahaj ka ticket cancel karke samudri jahaj mein humko jana padega kyunki ek hawaii kari this statue yes I will have to cancel my air ticket and take a boat home means ship a home Ruth can go by air if she likes Ruth can go home, wife can go home if she likes but I will go with the horse and keep him in my cabin all the way if necessary if it is needed I will keep the ship in my cabin in the ship and he smiled at the picture of having himself voyaging across the seas hugging his horse. Now he started, the foreigner started imagining carrying the horse statue in his own cabin and hugging and so on. He added, I will have to pad it, pad it very well with straw so that it doesn't break. I have to very carefully pad it, piking. Piking is very important, you know, otherwise what can happen? It can get destroyed. Yes, I have my station wagon as you see, I have my vehicle gear. Remember earlier when he had shown his vehicle, yes, he was very much surprised to see his truck come bus. A bus almost looking like a truck, not a truck, but a bus, but not a bus, like a truck, yes. I can push the seat back and take the horse if you will just lend me a hand with it. If you can help, if you help me, I can push the seat and place the statue in it. Lend me a hand and I can lift off the horse from its pedestal. If you support me, help me, I can just lift the horse statue. Lend me a hand and I can lift off the horse from its pedestal after picking out the cement at the joints. After removing the same cement at the joints, I can pick it up if you just give support to me. We can do anything if we have a basis of understanding. For not all. Yes, we can do anything if we have a basis of understanding. Dear students, today I stop the class here. Again, the conversation the funny conversation between our foreigner and uh, Muni, that is what we have learned. Well, Muni is talking something, foreigner is talking some other thing. Again, foreigner is talking, Muni is saying something else. But all the summary of the talk of our foreigner was about the old statue and he wanted to buy it. Alright, please read the uh, class once again and make note of the doubtful things and look at the dictionary for writing the meanings and so very every word a b c d i cannot write as you are in the class 9 difficult write down the uh, difficult words and uh, make check in the dictionary or next time when you meet me or whatsapp me so that i can clarify the uh, meaning for you once again that part so please ask continuation 
please write down the summary of this class and uh, make notes of this one all right i will be checking all those things hope you have understood and by tomorrow i will be completing this story it was a long story with five parts and today we have completed the fourth part tomorrow we will have the final part all right so stay tuned stay home take care god bless you have a nice day again remember please do write your homework once again salam joseph here bye